So this weekend, my Aunt Flora has invited me over for a spot of tea. And maybe some crumpets, I don't know. Uh, but she has a lot of boxes at her house. And to get to that tea party, I'm going to have to move a lot of boxes. Manual labor is not my strong suit, but puzzles are. Because in Aunt Flora's mansion, I almost said Fiona's, again for the umpteenth time, that's because I'm recording this again. Anyway, uh, in Aunt Flora's mansion uh, is a tile-based moving puzzle game. Almost in the sense uh, stylings and old 8-bit DOS layer game types as uh, Chips Challenge, if I'm remembering what Chips Challenge is correctly. I'm probably not, but whatever, you kind of get the idea. To play this game, you can move your little pink-haired character uh, with the arrow keys, or with Sod, I would recommend the arrow keys, because you will also be using X, Z, and R. X is your interact button. It's your next step button. Uh, if you go over these little hearts here and press X, that is your save function. You are going to need to use that a lot. Because you are going to fuck up. If you do fuck up, though, easily enough, you can press Z as many times as you want to undo the last moves you have made. Or, if you've really fucked up, you can press R and reset to your last save point. Make sure that you've done the puzzle properly before doing that because you can screw yourself over. It's not a thing that happens often, but just keep it in mind. So, how do you play this game? Well, by moving tiles. So, push! Unfortunately, this blue tile does not move vertically. It only moves horizontally. If I'm getting that right. Verticals, up, down, horizontal. Whatever. Uh, the blue tiles with the line going left to right can only be moved left to right. Yellow tiles here can only be moved up and down, henceforth the line going up and down. The green tiles, since they have lines going up, down, left, and right, can be moved in any which way direction except diagonal, because this is an 8-bit DOS-esque game. There's no such thing as diagonal. The arrow button things there, you heard what I said, uh, move on their own if they can, in the direction they are pointing. Yay! The front door is now open, so what we do now is we save, and we go in. The main hall. Let's see, so, puzzling shall start. Do-do-do, do-do-do, do-do-do. Move that up like so, and that like that. So, now there are two directions to go. We can either move this all the way down here and head in this direction off the screen. Or, we can go in this direction, the direction I've planned on going, so this video looks good, uh, and go into the kitchen. These pink blocks are kind of move through one direction blocks. Uh, the arrows indicate which direction you can move them, uh, move through them. They don't move themselves. Uh, you move so this, I can move left here. But can't move right. I can move right here. It can't move left. We also can't move them up or down. So, keep that in mind when moving everything around. There's also the, um, so you can also see there's like yellow, uh, not yellow, white dotted boxes. We'll get to those in a minute. Uh, let's see, push that up all the way over there. Push this here. That goes like that, so I can move through that. Push that down, so I can move this over to, thank you, Hal. Hal, even though this is an 8-bit game, still does not play these things very well. 
you need to get a nice upgrade. You know what? You're gonna get an upgrade soon, buddy. You're gonna get a nice new chassis. I'm petting my computer right now. That's... I'm not insane. Oh, shit. I didn't do... I missed a step, so we're gonna have to press R. To reset the entire thing. I didn't do this. You'll see why in a second. Uh, nope, nope. Up, up. That way. Then we go this way. This thing goes that way. Push that all the way like so. That all goes up like that. This goes like that. So now when I go here, I can move that through that. And also move like that there. So I now have a shorter cut to get through all of that. It's like Dark Souls up in here. Shortcuts everywhere. The back stairway. Now, these white dotted lined squares cannot be moved by you. They can only be moved if you move them with other blocks. You can also go through them. Hence why you can't move them, because they're ghost blocks. Jump. And now that we have that, we can move freely through the window. I'm assuming it's a window, because there's a wall here. So, if we now learn our new mechanics, we need to get this arrow block to move, and it can't move because it's stuck, because Thing, the, the white blocks that I'm on count as blocks, so it's stuck at the moment. So we need to move this block here, but we can't do that. So if we move this like that, and then that moves, and then I move, it moves. Yay. Then we can move this all the way over there. That gets moved down. It moves on its own. That moves like so. Yay! I'm doing good, because I already know the solutions to all these. Uh, X to continue to the back porch. Now these are dotted lined blocks that you cannot move through, because, well, there are dots inside the dotted lined blocks. Still, though, you can move them with your, you know, other blocks. Simple enough. So we move this all the way down. Unfortunately, I can't get behind it, but I can if I move like this and go through like that. Save again. Move that all the way over there. Da 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 da. And then there's a way to make a shortcut outside because technically I'm now trapped in this side of the house because I can't get back to the main gate. Why did you make this, Aunt Flora? Why? Move this like that. That gets moved all the way over to the edge. This moves like that. That can be now moved through the next area. Ah. To the side gate. Yay. Saving. I can't get through that. There's a whole block thingy out there now. And then this. Dead end room. It's not technically a dead-end room, but I'm going to leave it there because I want you to figure out the puzzles in this game for yourself. It's not a very long game, mind you. I think this is like a fourth of the way through the game already. So I think it's a good place to stop no matter what. The link to this game will be in the description below. My name is Bar Bet Tip. My name has been Dark Arts. And, uh, I wonder what's in all these boxes. Let's, let's take a look in here. There's, uh, okay, old magazines, newspaper clippings, recipe books. I think my Aunt Flora is a hoarder. Hoarder. I didn't say horror. I mean, she wears that face mask to bed, and you don't want to run into that in the middle of the night. But, um... <sighs> the cucumbers. Just so many cucumbers. <laughs>